Hi YouTube. It's Thursday, the 15th of June. So I was thinking about what I was going to mix up today. Then I was going to do something a little um, different. And then I thought, oh, another trip to the liquor store, more stuff. What do I have at home that I can mix up? It happens to be one of the more popular drinks in Florida which is where I live, Tampa. If you've never paid attention to anything, that's where I am. And the uh, great area of Tampa Bay, Tampa, St. Pete, Sarasota, Clearwater, Palm Harbor, Dunedin, great area to live in. Really, really fun place. Great climate and uh, really open and friendly people. And as I look through the list of what's popular right now in Florida, once again, one of the oldies but goodies from years gone by has popped up. And it's the daiquiri. And when I was uh, a young woman, married, kids, and we would go out for drinks, you remember I told you about our favorite bartender, Jack? Well, he had a daiquiri that he made. And I wasn't really fond of them, but the way Jack made them were great. However, this recipe is different. And it's made with white rum, which you'd expect, lime juice, which you'd expect. And instead of the confectionery sugar that Jack used to use, which made it kind of frothy when you mixed it up, this recipe calls for a demerara sugar, which is a Cuban sugar. And which is really ironic, well, it's not ironic. The daiquiri was uh, kind of concocted in around 1898 and named after a southwest, southeast town in Cuba called Daiquiri. And about 10 years later, it finally made its way to the United States through a Navy military person. And it was a favorite of JFK and it was a favorite of Hemingway. So I think if it's good enough for them, it's probably good enough for us, at least to try. So how will I do this? Well, I've already prepared a shaker full of ice. And I already chilled my glass in the freezer, but I will, I will chilled it a little more by putting some ice in it uh, with water so it'll cool it down. So first, we're going to use two ounces of white rum. And this is just Bacardi. Well, not just Bacardi, it's Bacardi. There we go. And I already squeezed my limes and measured out now. This is about an ounce of freshly squeezed limes. And these are Persian limes. And the third ingredient, that's it. There's only three ingredients. We don't count the ice. It's supposed to be three quarters of an ounce of Demerara. Now, this is a little over an ounce. And I'm gonna just put right to about there. You can see it's a dark sugar. It's like a brown sugar, a raw sugar. And what I did, is I used the um, artificial brown sugar and water, and then I put it on the stove and you heat it through till it's a syrup. So it's a little more than just a simple syrup, which is part one water, part uh, one part, excuse me, uh, sugar, and you just mix them up and you don't heat them. But this was heated. Okay, so. I'm going to shake this. Simple. A little too far maybe. Around 20. Give it a little tap so it doesn't spill out all over the side. And then I'm going to take this glass. I'm just going to pour that right back in here. Okay. I'm going to strain this mixture into this ice cold glass. 
Now Jax would have had a froth on top. Now look at that. I'm supposed to use a coupe. Do you know what a coupe is? It would come out and be more rounded, rounded sides. Like you do a Brandy Alexander. That sort of a drink would be in a coupe. And then I'm going to add just a twist of lime peel. And voila. There we are. Now, let's see how this version of the daiquiri tastes. I would add more sugar. Or I'd use real sugar. But it still is kind of a tart drink anyway. So if you like that and it's all fresh, you could use this for a margarita, couldn't you? So that's the daiquiri, 1898 in Cuba. So what am I wearing to celebrate this sort of uh, Latin drink, Caribbean drink, kind of a festive dress in orangey red with sheer sleeves all puckered and some Cuban stockings. Only these have red down the back in the seam. And of course, they're stockings. Not red garters. So, my friends, that's a daiquiri. Have a great day, and thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, just push that little button. Love you all. Thank you for following me and supporting me over the years. Bye for now, and don't forget, it doesn't cost a thing to be kind.